Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Beth, part of the Stamping Jill creative team, and I am so excited today to show you a really cute gift bag idea that you can make using our designer series paper. One great thing about Stampin' Up's designer series paper is that it's double-sided. So one side has a really fun pattern on it, usually with multiple colors, and then the other side of each of the papers has a coordinating color, but it's typically more monochromatic um, or kind of plain, so you can use it in multiple ways. So when I first saw this particular designer series paper, the Sweet Symmetry designer series paper, I wanted to show both sides of the paper because I thought it was just so cute. I really, really liked the colors and the way they coordinated together. And so I decided to make a little um, gift bag in a few different sizes because sometimes you need different sizes. So I'm going to show you how to make a designer series paper gift bag. I'm gonna do it in three different sizes using a six by six piece of designer series paper, an eight by eight piece of designer series paper, and a 12 by 12 piece of designer series paper so that you can get the different sizes of the bags that you need for your gift. Um, I'm gonna show you on a 12 by 12 piece of designer series paper today because it's just the easiest for me to show. But the other ones turn out really cute and they're just as easy. We'll have those measurements on our blog at stampingjill.com so that if you wanna make the different sizes, you can find the measurements there. But the process of the scoring and the cutting is the same. So let's get started. You'll need two pieces of the same designer series paper two 12 by 12 pieces of the same designer series paper, which is great because when you buy a pack of designer series paper from Stampin' Up, it comes with two of the same design in six different designs. So you can make a bunch of gift bags, but for this one, you'll want two of the same. We're gonna start, I'm gonna show you this on some um, 12 by 12 white cardstock so that you can get a good idea because the other pattern is a little bit busy and I just wanted you to be able to see really clearly. So you're gonna have two different pieces. You're gonna do the same thing to both pieces. You're going to begin with your scoring, with your trimmer. You wanna use the scoring blade, which is the gray blade here. And you're gonna take your um, 12 by 12 piece of designer series paper. You're gonna score it on one side at three inches and then scooch it down to nine inches and score it there. Then you're gonna turn your paper and you're gonna score it at one and a half inches and then again at nine inches. So it's gonna look like that. Scored, scored. This is gonna be the top of our bag. This is the bottom of our bag. So if you have a directional piece of designer series paper, you wanna pay attention to that. I'm gonna bring in my second piece of designer series paper and I'm gonna do the same thing to it. Score at three inches. And then at nine. And then take my paper, turn it. Score at one and a half. And then again at nine. And that's all my scoring. Then I'm gonna take my snips and I'm going to cut up from the bottom score line to where the other score line here meets. I'm gonna cut that flap. I'm gonna cut that flap. And I'm gonna cut in here, but only on one piece of my designer series paper. So I'm gonna cut up from the bottom on both. On one, I'm gonna cut from the side at the top. On the other, I'm not going to. So let me show you with the actual designer series paper so you can get an idea here. So on this one, I've cut those top flaps and my bottom flaps here. And then on my second piece, I haven't cut the top flaps. I've just cut the bottom ones here. So when I take my bag and I fold on all of the score lines, and you wanna fold them nice and tight. If you'd like, you can always use a bone folder for this purpose. That would give you a really nice tight line. That just means your bag will be more crisp. The lines will be really crisp. Okay, and you'll just fold on all of your score lines here. 
And that's going to make one side of our bag just like that. Okay, we're going to glue that part down. Here's the other one. Let me fold these score lines here. Just nice tight. Here's the ones that are flapping open on the top. That's what we want, but only on the one piece of our designer series paper. Okay, fold the bottoms here. So you're going to end up with two pieces that look like this. Okay, they're going to be pretty identical except for that top flap is going to flap on one and on the other it's, it's already just folded down. Okay, so I'm going to use green glue to glue these together. It's our Tombow Multi Mono Liquid Glue. We just call it green glue because the tips are green and that's an easy way for us to remember. Um, I love this glue because it stays really well but it gives me just a minute to be able to move the pieces to where I want them. So I'm going to put it on those little flaps and then I'm going to fold the flaps inside of my bottom piece here. So they'll be hidden inside my bag. I'm going to hold that down for just a second and that's going to adhere quickly. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same on this one. A little goes a long way with this. You don't need to use too much. It does dry clear, but it dries kind of glossy clear. So just hold it down for a second, get it to where you want it. There we go. Okay, so now that I've got my bottoms glued on my bags, let me show you here how it's going to work. I like to take the one with the flaps cut and put that on the inside of my bag. That way these little flaps are going to fit snugly up underneath and I can slide the whole bag together like so and all of the seams are going to be hidden on the back side of my bag. So from the front it's just going to look like a continuous bag and then in the back you're going to see where the bag comes together but it's going to be pretty hidden because the paper is coordinate. So that's kind of what we're going for. I'm going to put some glue on the inside of that of the second bag. So I'm going to put it here, just a little swirl like that. And then I'm going to leave my flaps out for this part and set my bag inside the other bag and push them to the sides together here. Again, this gives me a little bit of time for movement. So if I do one side first, then I can come and do the other side and it won't have already dried. We do have a great product called Tear and Tape that I like to use with bags like this, but when I'm moving the pieces together, sometimes it's harder for me to use. So I really like this green glue just for that purpose. So you've got those in. Now we're gonna put our flaps and we're going to slide them underneath the other flaps here so that they can hide just up under there. And it's gonna seem like a little seamless bag. Okay, so I'm gonna put some glue on the underside on the outside of that flap. Just like that. And then I'm gonna slide that underneath just like that. And it's a tight fit. It's going to fit nice and tight so the bag will stay together really well. And then again on this side. Slide that up and under and back. So that it goes right together. Okay, just like that. So that's kind of the idea of how to put this little bag together. Let me show you the different ideas I came up with using this designer series paper. So here's the one using the 12 by 12 pieces of designer series paper. Just a cute bag. And then I kind of paired the tailor-made tags, dice, on each of the bags. I use these for a little tag. And I use sentiments from the In Symmetry stamp set. This is a really cute stamp set, so sentiments are really fun. So I just decorated it up with Best Day Ever. 
cute. And then I loved this Jess Jade ribbon. Um, it just gave it a little sparkle and went really, really well with the paper. But whatever designer series paper you have, usually you can find a ribbon that coordinates really well. So I did that. I just punched some holes in the side and tied a knot so I would have a little um, string for my bag. And that's the biggest size. This is the one that uses the 12 by 12 pieces of designer series paper. Here's the bag I made using the 8 by 8 pieces of designer series paper. Just a little smaller. So that's kind of the size. Um, difference there. But I again used the tailor made tags and I put it right onto the bag just like that. I thought that was really cute. You are perfectly unique. That's one of my favorite sayings in that stamp set. So cute, quick, simple. And then I made one using a six by six piece of designer series paper and it's just like this. So here's the eight by eight compared to the six by six, just a little bit smaller. Sometimes you just need something a little smaller. But the paper coordinates so well with itself. When you fold that little top down, it just looks really cute. And then I just added a little Hey Friend tag on that one. So fun. I hope you've enjoyed this idea of a way to use your designer series paper. We have so many beautiful designer series paper that I'm afraid we just hold on to them and don't use them. And this is a fun way to use them and show off both sides and the way that they coordinate together. I hope that you will take this idea and make some bags so that you are ready for your next gift that you want to give away. Please let us know if you have any questions in the comments below. We'd love to help and look for that blog post with the uh, measurements for all of the sizes of the bag so you can make it fit your needs. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.